Alright, this is going to be a bit of a prequel to the Ultimate Musket Guard that's probably going to cover the following week after we actually get hands on with the expansion and I sort of know where to go from there. This document that I've been working on over the last couple of weeks basically covers everything that you need to know and will need to know as I'm going to be updating it. It covers everything from armor to weapons, even the perk mods with links directly to the New World DB so you know exactly where to go, how to get things and how to craft. It is even as uh, I'm gone as, as deep as uh, adding elite chest run routes so you know exactly where to go to farm certain things because a lot of the named best in slot items with the new craft crafting system actually uh, bind on equip and a lot of them come from elite chest run routes which makes it worth doing your ECRs every day because you will make a lot of gold from these bind on equip named items that actually can be best in slot when taking them to a gypsum kiln with the new named item upgrade system. I'm gonna quickly mention Jay Oddity's video here as he explains the new named crafting system much better than I do. Although I do break down a little bit here, effectively you are gonna be able to take any named item that is above 650 gear score to a gypsum kiln and choose the third perk and increase it to 700 gear score which is a pretty cool system and is definitely a great decision from AGS. So again this mentions everything, jewelry, armor, weapons, today's focus is on the weapons you can get ahead and read this document if you want to find out a jewelry which will be the next video coming out shortly after this i also mention armor in here which is the previous video i've done which i also highly re recommend you check out i do actually give links to certain videos in here so you can actually go and check them out directly from this document again this guy is going to be updated very f frequently as developments happen to the build to builds there's multiple builds in here there's multiple topics of discussion so let's dive right in so again today's topic is weapons there's a few options here and i highly recommend again reading all the intros gives you a better breakdown of everything but we're going to jump quickly onto the neural db links here because it is a bit quicker for me to explain in this video if you really want to check out sort of my in-depth breakdown of everything highly recommend reading through this document yourself and getting a bit of understanding of the, des the decisions I'm making and sort of my thought process when it comes to choosing certain perks of others and the research that's also gone into developing those ideas. So we start off with the best in slot void option. Now this is a bit of a new uh, development and it is an alternative to the achievements. Now I think that the shirking perks which are currently in the game are actually going to be a great new alternative. It is on a successful dodge you gain 10 seconds of 45% increase the base damage on your next hit. I'll explain that badly, but again, I think these perks are going to be pretty good this patch. And I also think Vicious is going to be better than Enchanted. I also talk about that in the document if you want to read it for yourself. In short, Enchanted is just going to get countered by Enchanted Ward. If we pop Vicious on, it's at least going to give us a benefit to our abilities, which is a huge positive. Now, Shirking Abyss, in my opinion, just as good if not better than attunement especially with the 0.5 second increase in cooldown to attunement which means you actually may be only going to see an attunement proc every second shot even with a musket and its long reload time it is not 1.5 seconds so it is a bit of a pick your poison and honestly it's a bit of flexibility to your play style there if you're quite an aggressive musket you might benefit more from using shirking this musket here which is the enroaching corruption musket comes from invasion crates i believe uh, is a great option and this is what uh you can pick up as a named potential bis depending on your play style again that flexibility that you can farm out here so again it drops from level 65 invasion crates all right now if you want a avoid attunement then you're gonna have to craft that i do mention that down here if you want any sort of other attunement there's a few more that i'm going to mention here really quick any other attunement with vicious and keenly empowered or keenly jagged you're going to have to craft that i also i'm going to mention here that you can pick keenly empowered over keenly jagged if you prefer a burst damage build keep in mind that there's so many empowerment sources and i do believe the harnessing perks actually count towards your empowerment cap so it could actually be pretty bad idea to run keenly empowered in general and i think that it is more beneficial for you to run keenly jade not only is keenly jagged a great dot i've always loved it the rings that i'm going to mention in the jewelry video or if you read this document in advance actually use bloodletting which i think is again a fantastic perk and i think that kenley jagged is fantastic especially in war when you're trying to track a healer kenley jagged is i believe the last dot to get cleansed so they're going to cleanse the burn they're going to cleanse the slow so it is honestly worth it to just run kenley jagged purely for that 
ability that you'll always know where that healer is. Um, this is why I've always loved Kenny Jagan more and many other guys and uh, that use musket always have as well, is it gives you that ability to know where your target is at all times for an extended duration. Stacking that with bloodletting, it is an absolute no-brainer in my opinion. Again, you also get the Deadeye, new Deadeye Ultimate rework where you get more bleed if you hit a penetrating target, which is, again, another fantastic option. So, with that said, let's jump on to the next, which is actually the best in slot attunement musket that is named. Now, this, I think, is a very cool musket. Oh, my links are broken here. Hang on. All right. The best in slot named attunement and jagged again you'd pick either vicious or vorpal for the third perk is a name drop so you, if you are doing nature attunement which i think is what everybody's going to be doing there's actually a best in slot option for that now i believe this one also comes from elite chest runs so again i highly recommend doing your elite chest runs i don't know what the drop rates are they could be pretty grim again it's binary equipped so people will be selling them they'll probably go for a fair whack of gold because this is again this is literally a best in slot attunement musket that you can get in the open world which is pretty phenomenal um yeah i don't know why it's currently on your db the uh dropped by tab isn't working but i'm pretty confident that this does indeed come from ecrs like most of the bio equipped items do it's either that or it's a mutator and if it's a mutator you farm out the dungeon to get normal material and then you do your mutations to get a dense material and you just craft it either way it is definitely going to be better than paying upwards of 500 plus k for a piss musket so these are that is a great option if you're chasing nature now there is an alternative here that is the commander's musket which is another named musket that has instead of vicious it has vorpal and kinley jagged and then you would slot your attunement in at a third perk at a gypsum killer now i want to mention this that i think vorpal may actually be just as good as a vicious even possibly better depending on how you play the reason why i mention this is that vicious and especially crit chance has actually been nerfed with this patch so you're actually going to be noticing a lot less crits than you did before. Now, I actually noticed this when I was playing the PTR, is that I was getting a lot less crits. So it actually might be beneficial to run full pool, and you might actually end up getting more headshots simply because of the projectile change. This could be another great option if you want to go for Vorpal over in instead of Vicious. Personally, I'm going to go for a Vicious Kinley Jagan Nature achievement, so I'm going to be getting the Sin Critic musket myself. But this is another great option that also is for any achievement. You can choose any achievement you like at a Gypsum Kiln for your build, which is pretty nice. Now, the again fourth, sorry, the fourth, yeah, the fourth option here is the just crafted route you can take which is achievement vicious keenly jade or keenly empowered again if you want any of those combos sadly you are gonna have to craft it unless it is that nature one i mentioned uh you've got the shirking one the vorpal one and then the nature keenly jagged but any other elements sadly it has to be crafted uh and that is the way it is you can get a full void set uh if you read through this document i mentioned that you can get a entire void harnessing set named best in slot without having to craft at all other than crafting a gypsum kiln which is free for everyone to do and again that would use the shirking one though if you wanted an abyssal attunement you would have to indeed craft that clearly just want to add on to the end here again highly recommend reading through this document yourself as it's going to cover the next slate of videos which includes jewelry artifact topics and artifact discussion and not only that attribute splits how to achieve the attribute splits and I even have every single recommended and community rated musket and weapon trees at the bottom of this document. Everything is nicely listed in chapters on the left side. And I've just created this perfect document for you guys to use. I really hope you enjoy it. I put a lot of effort into this and a lot of time uh, and research. And uh, I hope it pays off and it brings a lot of clarity into understanding how things work and how to get certain things and what you should run, etc. And all the flexibility and all those kind of options. And I'm nerding out here, but... Again, stay tuned for the next videos. If you prefer the videos yourself, then again, I'm going to keep doing these. But if you also just prefer having a document that's ready to go when you need to come back to something, I have done that. And that is the whole purpose of it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one.